Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. Today is Monday, December 31st, 2018. It is day 31 of the 31 days of David's Tea. So ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the road. And it has been an amazing 31 days here in December. Um, went through a lot of ups and downs, but we're going to finish off with the last of my soup tea collection, which is matcha miso. So I don't know if you folks can hear in the background, um, there are fireworks popping off already. It's around 7.45. So, you know, folks just want, love their fireworks here in my neck of the woods. So I apologize. And then you can also probably hear the TV and the music going off in the background. But we're just going to do this anyway. So, matcha miso. I really wanted to try the soup tea collection just for this tea. Soup. Soup tea. You, you know what I mean. Um, so let's go off the usual. Let's read the description. It says, this mouth-watering miso soup mix doesn't just pack a serious umami punch. It is also, or it's also, got all the energizing metabolism boosting powers of matcha. And then the ingredients listed are matcha green tea, white miso powder, Seaweed, interesting, it's known as kombu extract. And for those that have allergies, just to be careful because this contains soy. Now, the instructions. For a 16 ounce cup of soup or tea, you do one or two perfect spoons. And then... It has hot, so I did one perfect spoon in 175 degrees Fahrenheit water. And then it just says stir for soup or tea. So it doesn't matter. I'll show you the description. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. But you like it doesn't matter how you prepare it it's gonna come out the same way and i don't know why i was gonna put that away i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like and folks when i smelled this when upon initially opening the matcha miso it does smell like matcha powder it better because it has it in there as the first ingredient uh oh Ooh, okay, so it has it in there. Sorry, y'all, hit the camera. But it's got a hint of soybean. Or, I don't know if it's soybean, but it's got this... I guess that's the umami quality, which I don't even know how the heck to describe it. But here we are, folks. This is how the matcha miso tea mix looks like hopefully I'm getting it in frame okay so yeah it's got some ferment like a fermented hint going on but defo 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 smells like good old matcha powder and fun fact y'all this is the tea mix with the least amount of tea at 3.5 ounces in which the other two had um, like 5.3 ounces for the tomato turmeric and um, spicy rasam. Both have 5.3 ounces. Uh, this along with the other two soup teas have low caffeine. But it's just that because this has matcha in it, the instructions on how to make it are similar to making a typical matcha to uh, excuse me to drink 
So instead of near boiling water for the other two soup teas, it is hot water for this one. And it comes out like a nice frothy green color. So I'll bring y'all in. Try to get it in the light too. It's like cloudy matcha. It's similar, folks. It's similar to the matcha that, um, the matcha latte mix. If y'all remember from that one Tuesday with the tea that I've done, looks just like that. Okay, enough, you know, dilly dallying. Let's give this a good old sip. Hmm. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Don't mean to do that. <laughs> but this... Okay, the matcha is present. It's there. However, it's like this hint of fermented soy, which is basically, that's what miso is. It's uh, a fermented soybean paste that usually is consumed um, in a soup form if I'm not mistaken y'all but y'all know I can always be mistaken so feel free to correct me in the comments if I um, misinterpret that but yes it's very good and I kind of jumped the gun well, so let me hand my verdict down and tell y'all, you know, a little bit of extra with these, with the soup tea collection. So, in the case of matcha miso, um, I would rate this good. I would even say great. I really do enjoy the taste of matcha, but the miso component is, I think, more prevalent than the matcha. Um... It's also awesome that I'll show y'all the nutrition facts because I forgot to do that initially. So this has the least amount of sodium and it has protein, two grams, while the um, others, tomato turmeric, turmeric has one gram and then the spicy rasam only had, it doesn't have any protein. So this is awesome. It's just the only critique I have, of course, but it's, it's you know, it's a given. Is that this has the least amount of soup compared to the others. And you're paying the same price for all three. I think you, I may have paid a little more for this, but I think it's the same price. Which sucks, y'all, because I really do like this tea. So there you have it, folks. Now, I'm going to do one extra. I have the rest of the tea mixes. And I am going to rate these from worst to best. Now, keep in mind, I believe I rated all of these good. Because there's something I would enjoy. However, there's got to be a best of the best, right? So, in third place, I don't know if y'all can see properly, in third place would go to, yeah, would go to Spicy Rasam. I mean, I enjoy it, but it's so salty. The Spicy Rasam is so salty. So that's why, and it doesn't have any protein, which kind of sucks as well. So, this bad boy is third place. Second place out of the two that's in my hand is... I mean, y'all can kind of probably guess it, but... It's tomato, turmeric, turmeric. Um, it does remind me of tomato soup, which I enjoy. Uh, you know, I've only had these teas um, as tea forms, granted, but still... 
you get a nice tomato flavor and like i said i could drink this with a cup of or excuse me with the um a sandwich or something and you know feel really full and hearty so that means matcha miso of course is first place so from your i guess this wouldn't really this would make sense right from right to left first place second place third place or your left your left my right first place second place third place um overall i would strongly recommend this um to try at least if you only could afford one or whatever you only just wanted to try one matcha miso is the bet the best one i've tasted but if you don't really care for you know matcha then try the tomato turmeric turmeric um spicy rasam like if you really like indian food sorry if you really like indian food or you know you like curry or you really wanted a spicy kick then go for the spicy rasam the only reason why i'm saying not really to the spicy rasam is that it's so salty so, folks, that is going to do it for the 31 days of David's Tea. We're ending on a great note here with the matcha miso. Mmm. Very good. I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching, you know, this series. It was really fun to do. Had a little, had a um, few hiccups. But I still wanted to make sure that I could churn out a video every day. Um, was it challenging? You bet. Um, uh, real life along with, you know, un unforeseen events. Could, you know, were taken away from my ability to upload on certain days. But that doesn't take away the fun that I had from doing this. I really enjoyed it. Um, trying to think of new ideas and what not to do. But, you know, for January, I'm just going to keep it the same. I'm not really going to deviate or, you know, I don't have any other specials going on. Because, y'all, even though I enjoy it, it's still... a quite amount of work you know to be put behind this even though it may not look it may not look the part but you know thank you very much for watching you know if you subscribe based on this i do have the month of iced tea celebration coming up um in the summer and then i also have and I, I come up with stuff on the fly, but I have my Tuesdays with a tea, which, you know, if you like this sort of deal where I'm reviewing teas, stick around on Tuesdays, because that's when I upload. I upload three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, you know, it was kind of challenging to keep up with this special and do my usual specials. Tuesday, I kind of got lucky because, you know, Tuesdays with a T and then this Days of David's T kind of coincided. So I'm like, I don't I don't really have to do two videos, but, you know, just kept it the same. But Wednesdays and Thursdays, like kind of, I admit Wednesdays I was faltering. But hey, new year, new resolutions. It's going to be very, very easy now to jump right back in. So, yeah, folks. I'll still see you tomorrow, New Year's Day, uh, with, you know, Tuesdays with a T. But again, yeah, it was, it was quite a ride. 
I had my ups and downs, you know, but this was quite the fun experience and, you know, just working with what I have, I'd say, like, this is, um, this was very fun. This was, this was, this was fun. This was fun. And I'll, I'll have stuff to think about, you know, for the coming months, but, yeah, January is just going to be regular schedule. I'm not going to try to go out of my way or whatever this this um, coming month. So there's that. But yeah, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Y'all know any and all are greatly appreciated. More than welcome. Um, I love reading your comments, seeing what you all have to say. You know, I appreciate any feedback because, like, you know, I wasn't really working with any good equipment. Like, I just have my phone. That's primarily how I edit, upload, whatever, you know. But as I can get better equipment, I would love to upgrade my shows and whatnot. But I'm just working with what I'm, the cards I'm dealt with, y'all. And today is New Year's Eve. So, folks, be merry, be safe out there. Um, a lot's going on. But, you know, celebrate the new year, but do it safely. I feel as though 2019 is going to be a great year despite what um things may happen uh late last year well i say last year but this year pretty much can say last year but um 2018 but you know i'm not gonna let that stop stop me and neither should you uh, keep pressing forward y'all i wish y'all all the best for this coming new year and the fireworks are going off like crazy, y'all. So, <laughs> let me hurry up and get my um, video up and running. But again, take care. Make it a great day today and every day as usual. I will see you all tomorrow for Tuesdays with a T. In which, hopefully I can recover from it. <laughs> But, you know, I'll, I'll conjure up something cute for Tuesdays with a T. And um, I wish y'all nothing but the best. So, take care. This is Sasha signing off. 31 days of David's T 2018 done. I'm very happy to have done it. Thank you very much to Chelsea Morales for giving me this, the inspiration, the suggestion. So, yeah, y'all, wish you a very happy New Year's Eve and a very awesome New Year's Day tomorrow. See you then. Bye now.